Hi everybody, Lucius here again with another video. I'm going to talk about uh, Justice League, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. I know a lot of people have been talking about for a long time, like released the Snyder Cut, because uh, he had a, a bunch of stuff happen personally and with the studio. They didn't like his vision, I guess, and they brought in, they let him go. And they brought in uh, Joss Whedon, who did the Avengers, to finish uh, the 2017 Justice League. And um, and nobody really liked that, you know. It was kind of a mish mash of uh, ideas and concepts and tones. And um, then they kind of, Warner Brothers kind of abandoned the whole idea, I guess, of doing like a shared universe. I don't know. I guess some some things are supposed to be part of the shared universe and some things aren't and uh, uh, TV has a bunch of stuff and they have their own shared universe and then in the TV like in the flash they brought the movie flash in to meet the TV flash and they uh, I don't know um, yeah I watched this for, it was long very long movie um, but the positives are, I don't know if it's a positive, uh, it's all one tone this time, and it's like one vision, which is good. I mean, if you want to bring in a director, uh, you, and you, you want to bring in a director to have his vision, uh, uh, go through with it, you know, like, just let him do it. Uh, otherwise, don't hire him. I mean, Zack Snyder has a pretty... You get a pretty good idea of what you what his vision is going to be, and um, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be happy. It's going to be miserable and depressing. And uh, I think uh, a lot of uh, you know. And I think that, uh, you know, Man of Steel was pretty bleak and depressing, and uh, Batman v Superman was pretty bleak and depressing. And so now uh, you got to do a four hour version of his vision, kind of, which is also bleak and depressing. Uh, I mean, if you like that stuff, if you, you like movies that are bleak and depressing, um, I think that. Um, I, uh, couldn't finish the movie. I, you know, I watched most of it, but I think, and spoilers, I think when, um, uh, Darkseid, who is a villain I really like, uh, when he started killing everybody, like, you know, he, like, uh, stabbed Aquaman with his, with his try, with his pitchfork, you know, his trident, um, and then he, uh, he burned Wonder Woman's body, you know, her dead body. And then uh, you saw Superman with Lois's uh, burnt corpse and he joined Darkseid. I was pretty much like, you know, I don't think I want to watch any more of this. Um, I mean, not everybody should be like Batman. Uh, there should be like a variety. We want diversity in our characters, you know. We want we don't want everybody to be miserable and angry and and murderers or vicious murderers. Uh, I don't know. You want to blur the line between who's a hero and a villain. I guess it's just uh, I don't know. Everybody there's no there's no line anymore. I guess I don't know. Yeah, if that's the vision you want to do, I just think that uh, I, I'm not gonna see. It's good to see, like, a Justice League movie, I guess, finally, like, a live-action, big-budget Justice League movie. Uh, but uh, I don't think, uh, you know, going to see, like, a real Justice League movie where you... Uh, you mean, if you want to change all the characters and make them all bleak and depressing, 
I don't know why you got to change all the characters. You have like uh, decades of characterization to draw from and diverse characterization, which makes it interesting. And you get the, the dynamics to where the characters play off each other. And I think that's what makes it fun. But when everybody's just bleak and depressed and, you know, it's all bleak and depressing, I think that, uh, uh, I don't know. It it looks stylish, I guess, and it's. Uh, uh, I know that now there's rumors that, I guess uh, Zack Snyder said that there's also a black and white version, uh, with more footage in it, but. I mean, I, I was confused by that because I'm like, black and white version. I thought that's what, you know, his. The version that he did was that already. I, I'm just I'm confused. Uh, I feel really sad after watching it. I don't feel. I mean, it's cool that they did it because like a lot of the fans wanted it. And then like he, you know, a lot of fans that like fans that were like you know trying to get him to do it, um, help get it done. And then he would like go online and say that he did, didn't like certain fans. I guess I don't know. It's always some kind of controversy about people hating each other and then telling people not to hate each other even though they're saying that they hate the people that they think hate hate each other. I don't know. I don't care. Um, I just don't ever want to see another superhero movie again. That's all, I guess. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.